Yo, so I've done a video like this before. You might have seen one like this where I am going over stuff that's already in the game or stuff that's to come out this week, maybe next week. And I'm going to be the show 21. If you guys are watching this video right now, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, maybe predictions for May Player of the Month cards. Twitch in the description as well as my Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to toss a follow on those. First, I want to talk about what is coming to MLB The Show. And the number one question I've been getting asked is when are monthly awards dropping? When are the May monthly awards dropping? Is it this week on Friday? When is it? And I don't think, at least at the time of recording this video, we have a set date for when the monthly awards are coming out. But event if it's anything like the past, it's probably going to be next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. If I had to guess, probably Tuesday. Uh, so my guess is going to be June 8th or June 9th. I don't think it's going to come out Friday. That's when the third inning program drops. I think they're going to hold off. And I would imagine maybe there will be a collection for the monthly awards, getting those players that you can apply to the third inning program, get some XP. So monthly awards, I would assume are not dropping this week. If I had to guess, it's going to be, like I said, Tuesday or Wednesday, June 8th or June 9th sometime next week. So stay tuned for those. Again, feel free to leave predictions for the cards down in the comment section. You guys are going to see me looking over here. I have a list just to make sure I don't forget anything, but let's go ahead now and check the calendar. So taking a look at the calendar, we can see on Friday, the third inning program is coming. There's a new legend reveal in the third inning program. I don't know if that means one of the bosses or henchmen is going to be a new legend, but it looks like we're getting another new legend on Friday. Maybe leave predictions down in the comment section and i thought there was going to be more on the calendar um but just talking about it real quick with the third inning program i fully expect there i might make a predictions video too in the next couple days uh but i fully expect there to be a signature series card as one of the bosses or in the program somewhere because if we go ahead and check out the collections for mariana rivera there's not a ton of signature series cards in the game right there's only three of them so I would be very surprised if at least one of the bosses for the third inning program was not a signature series card. So maybe be on the lookout for that. And then not this Friday. A lot of people are always wondering when the roster updates are. They are every other week. So we just had one last week. There's no roster update this Friday. The next one is going to be a week from Friday, a week after the third inning program. And again, I thought the calendar was going to have more on it, but there is another new event coming this friday okay this friday same with the third inning program you guys can see this event ends on june 4th at 11 a.m and wait is that it, my days are all mixed up right june 4th is friday yeah so it looks like we're going to be getting another new event on friday i would assume they're going to have the same reward path i would assume this is not just a one-time thing especially with the 42 pack at the end you never know uh but i would be very surprised if these rewards did not carry over to friday's events as always on fridays we have new tops now moments coming and i would assume so but i'm not sure if those tops now cards will apply to the monthly awards program i know they all would like there's going to be a collection if you guys were not aware uh there's going to be a collection that's how they do the monthly awards we saw it in the first one there is going to be a collection that is necessary you will need to collect I would assume. I, I don't think they would change how it works. I'm almost positive. I'm like 99% sure you will need to collect May Tops Now and obviously monthly awards cards. You will need to have the Tops Now cards from May to be getting the monthly awards program done. So make sure you guys are doing your Tops Now moments, holding on to those. And let's see if we could tell, okay? Let's just see if we could tell. So Tops Now 2021, we have one, two, three that are from the month of may i don't think these counted the ones in this pack counted for uh actually no okay wait anthony Russo. yeah actually i'm pretty sure that is going to be needed yeah so one two three four right here there's four one two three four so i don't know if the ones friday will be necessary i would kind of doubt it but i'm really not 100 percent sure if uh if those will be necessary i don't think so i feel like it should just be four of them but i'm really not 100 percent sure but Make sure you guys are doing your tops now, and if you plan to get the monthly awards program done, holding on to those players, and then I think all that's left now is to talk about the new stuff in the game. We have two new packs. These got released yesterday. They actually just got released at the time of recording this video, but as y'all can see, we have the kitchen sink pack for 30,000 stubs, 
and we have set 13 headliners. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys all the cards and everything like that. Uh, I would personally probably never recommend buying packs if you're expecting to make a profit. Uh, for the most part, it just doesn't happen too often, but uh, Sadliner, wow, I gotta slow down. Obviously, I'm talking a little bit too fast right now. Set 13 Headliner, 94, Montreal Expo, Pedro Martinez from 1997, 109 stamina, 99 hits per nine. Four seam, circle change, cutter, slider, and a curveball. 86 velo, 97 break, 83 control. I feel like Pedro Martinez's other cards is 42 series and then the uh, the reliever version of them, right? I feel like those are pretty good cards. I feel like this one should be just as good, if not better, especially when you parallel them, starting that hits per nine above 100, but not a bad looking card. And at some point, I definitely want to try him out, see how he does. So that's set 13 headliner. And then we have the 30,000 stub limit of two per person kitchen sink pack here on the movie show 21. Featured items, Adam Dunn, Justin Verlander, Harold Baines, Prime Rob Dibble. Those are the four cards, I believe, in the rare round. One in five chance to get that, okay? So let's just go over the cards. Adam Dunn, 84 and 70 for the contact, 122 and 110 for the power, 58 vision, Fielding is honestly a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. It's not great. I guess the big thing is his arm strength and accuracy, right? His speed is slow. His reaction to fielding themselves aren't that great, but not a bad looking card. And I feel like he would be a really solid bench bat for my Diamond Dynasty team. Next up, we have postseason Verlander from 2013. 86 velo, 94 break, 95 hits per 900 stamina, four seam circle change, 12 six curve slider. Not really a, this card just doesn't stand out to me, right? It's not bad, but for me, it's not super, super good or anything, but a well-rounded, good overall, 95 Justin Verlander card. Big right here, Harold Baines. I assume him and Dibble will probably be the two most expensive cards from this pack. 112 and 98 for his contact, 95 and 83 for the power. Fielding, kind of iffy in the outfield. Speed, same thing, but I feel like he was more known for his bat and his ability to get on base is at least what my Twitch chat was telling me. So there's another signature series card to go towards that voucher for Mariana Rivera. We have Rob Dibble. I can't hit the gold version of this card. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to hit this one. 108 hits per nine, 99 velocity, obviously 85 control, 95 break, four seam slider cutter, checking out the quirks, and he does have an outlier on that fastball no surprise there an insane looking card i'm definitely scared to face this card i can't even hit the gold one we got hannes wagner rookie card high contact low power good vision good great speed fielding's okay over there uh in the outfield and also second base for him 90 overall silver slugger travis darno great against righties iffy against lefties especially in terms of power fielding is not bad at catcher but i feel like he's not gonna be a catcher for me on my team i feel like there's other people i'd rather have we got darren o'day apparently this card tips his pitches i still feel like he should be pretty solid with the sinker four seam change slider to go with 106 hits per nine and 99 break with 87 control probably gonna be a nasty card i can't wait to get my hands on that card we have 92 bill mazeroski honestly better than i thought wow way better than i thought i know i know nothing is really outstanding besides the fielding and the arm accuracy and reaction over there a second but wow man 79 and 75 for the power you parallel that card to super factor to go along with the 80 and 108 contact that is not a bad looking card at all okay wow that's better than i was expecting we got a rod carew another high contact low power high vision type of guy Fielding's going to be okay for you at first base, 77 speed. And then the final one in this pack is going to be Rick Porcello, a.k.a. Rick Porcello. Good pitch selection. Sinker, four seam, curve, change, slider, 106 stamina, 76 velo, 90 break, 94 control, 85 hits per nine. So that is what's to come. And that is what came out in a moment of the show. We have the kitchen sink pack. I would assume going to be here in a week or two uh, is how long it's going to be here. New headliner. Monthly awards probably coming next week third inning program on friday roster update a week from friday on friday this week we also have a new event and tops now coming for mlb the show 21 diamond dynasty i hope you guys enjoyed the video my bad if i talked too fast my bad if it was a little bit longer of a video uh there was a lot more to cover than i expected a lot more cards in the kitchen sink pack but i hope you enjoyed it like comment, subscribe social medias all that good stuff thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace out